have Anything you see you can photograph Angels on the back of your eyes and black See the falling photograph Hello and welcome to another Prescott Photo Club. In the last um, vlog I did on photo, uh, the photo club, I did say it was the end of the uh, project. I set this um, vlog up to um, document the, the progress of the photo club in uh, collaboration with Historic England and revitalising the high street. Behind me, is the last last vestiges of that project. It came to its conclusion the other month with the exhibition at the Open Eye Gallery with loads of Prescotians taking part. Some of them have never taken photographs before being part of a photo club. And this is the last of it now. So it's still here, so you can come and visit it. It's on Eccleston Street. We're on Eccleston Street, by the way. Um, yeah, and so you can still come here and visit this, so it, it's, I think it's up till the end of the year. And I think they had an exhibition on in the Shakespeare North, in the cafe there, uh, where you can see some of their photos as well. Um, I bumped into, by accident, uh, Doc Dawes, whose photograph is here. This is one of Doc's photographs. She was telling me that the photo club looks like it's gonna continue, because they're, they're actually looking for funding, and so, the Historic England project may have ended, but the photo club will carry on, which is great. And as soon as I've got any information on them, I'll, I'll, I'll do a vlog on it and, and see, see what, they're, what they're planning for the future. It's great that Prescott has a photo club, by the way. Uh, I've had a lifelong interest in photography. And as a young person, I would have loved to have been part of something like this in Prescott. You may not realise it, but Prescott's got a great historical connection with photography. And as well as these on Eccleston Street, I want to show you something down, down the brew. So we're going to go down the brew and I'm going to tell you a bit more about it. So follow me. I want to show you these. Have you seen these before? The little, basically, little cards, little photographs, little photographic cards. They're called uh, Carte de Vist, and they were patented in France by a photographer whose name escapes me, but I'll put it up on the screen. These, um, in, the, in, 90, in the 1850s, these were patented and they were sold right across the developed world. These two were manufactured here. At number 17, Marketplace, the company started off over the road at number 16 and then later on they moved here in the late 1800s, early 1900s. This is William Hayes produced these carte de vist. Now they were very popular because the Victorians loved them because they were, uh, it was carte de vist is English for visiting cards and they were the, about the same size as a visiting card. They can be put in a, into a wallet uh, but what the Victorians really liked to do is put them in albums. They were all about collecting things, Victorians, and they used to love the idea of putting these in albums. And so they'd put them in the old Victorian parlour, and when the guests would come around, they'd, they'd open the books out, and often they would swap them. So they'd get multiple editions of these, these cards of their family members, right? It's an early form of social media. The start of the Facebook generation, if you like. Now, um, <laughs> funnily enough, um, yeah, these were, these were 
that's an unknown child and that's um, Knowsley Hall. These were produced here behind me by William Hayes who set up shop here and he, he used to advertise himself as a photographic artist and you may have uh, seen on Facebook I've been putting up some um, colorized photos of recent and colorized photos of old black and white photos of Prescott and it's got mixed reviews some people absolutely love them and some people hate them and say you shouldn't be colorizing old photographs you know and they've really taken 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 uh, taking it to heart that it should septive sanct you shouldn't photo, you shouldn't colorize old photographs William Hayes here I thought I'll do a vlog on that because William Hayes set himself self up as a photographic artist that's his card on the back it says William Hayes 16 marketplace which was over there he moved to here 17 marketplace later on and uh, William Hayes of Prescott this photograph can be enlarged and painted negatives kept and copies may be had that's amazing isn't it so he set himself up as a photographic artist in the 1890s on marketplace he did things like this this is called a cabinet card cabinet cards were bigger than the cart de vist cards and these were later these came around in 1870s um, and um, they gave a larger format and um, th they were they were stored in victorian cabinets and that's why they were called cabinet cards um, so william hayes set up shop here he did it for many years and um, he was colorizing photographs uh, my argument is that photographs have been colorized since the beginning of photography people have been trying to colorize photographs they used wax crayons and various things watercolors and whatever they could use and and, and some were done fabulously and some were not done so well the recent invention of AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, has meant that we don't even have to think about it. The photographic artist will eventually be put out of business. <laughs> it's the rise of the machines. It's still, you can still do some great things with AI and you can still manipulate them and do all kinds of things that we couldn't do in the past. And I'm sure that, that William Hayes would love the idea of having a program that he could photograph, that he could colorize his photographs for, from. Because he did, he says it can be enlarged and painted. And they used to love painting photographs. And they have done throughout the ages of photography. Black and white was the technology we had. But really, we wanted it in color, didn't we? We want everything in colour. And how visual is the internet? Where would Facebook be without coloured photographs? Imagine Facebook or Instagram or TikTok without photographs. Can't do it, can you? Um, so, as far as the history of, phot of photography goes, Prescott is rich in it. It wasn't just here, though. There were at least a half a dozen pho photographic shops doing different things with photographs there was quicks at um, 38 eccleston street who were producing local scenes often colorized just up there there was um hemming's high class pharmacy store which sold photographic materials and cameras just up the high street up, up eccleston street there was frank perkins who remembers frank perkins from the 1950s he started his shop in kemble street and then he ended up on the corner of Atherton Street and Eccleston Street up there. I remember going to uh, Frank Perkins' shop in the 1960s when the moon landings were on and I got loads of lenses that cut, cut, pri pr cut price from a little, little, little bin. He had a little bin with lenses in and I tried to make a telescope so I could see the moon and see the, the uh, astronauts on the surface of the moon. He didn't try to stop me, by the way. He took me money, but it didn't work. <laughs> anyway, that's Frank Perkins for you. A lot of you will remember uh, Frank Perkins. Not to forget 
John Ed Edwards for, on the high street, which is now the Bards, right? That's the Bard Caf uh, the, the pub now. The old, um, <laughs> he, did, he did local scenes of um, Prescott, um, and he was, he, was, he was really a pioneer of local photography. And without his photos, without Quick's photos, and without all these other photographic shops around the town, we wouldn't have uh, the visual history that we have today, which is so rich in um, uh, uh, photographs and uh, postcards and various things like that. So um, I'm going to. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend the series to include um, um, the history of photography in Prescott. Um, we just focused on uh, uh, William Hayes, uh, but. I'm going to mention him again in another vlog in the future and I'm going to talk about all of these various places as we go along. So um, that's it, yeah. Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then leave a comment. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, um, leave a comment. Um, don't forget to um, like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the little bell icon notifications. By doing that, um, you're getting notified of new videos going up and also it helps monetize the channel because the more people watching and the more people subscribing, then we can, we can do more of these videos. It enables us to do more. So uh, please do that and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next vlog. Photograph, anything you see you can photograph Things are from the back of your eyes, so I see the funny photograph